Here, you're really up for coming with us? I am. Whenever you're ready. Well, whenever your father's ready, I should say. If my counsel might help you towards the answers you seek, it's the least I can do to repay you. Plus, I think it will do me well to see the light of Elfheim again. Mm. That elf light is some good shit. So, where did this plan come from? Oh, from Mimir, of course. I was merely asking how you found me. He explained the secret prophecies inside the Yodnar shrines. Fascinating. From there, we set to taking stock of which shrines we'd seen, at which point your father recalled finding growers outside the Temple of Light. And now that we can actually go to Alfheim, the prudent course of action became self-evident. Nary a lost step for the world's smartest man. Even without feet, if you'll forgive the levity. I was always fond of our talks, you know? Aye. And it's good to see you a free man again, old friend. Appreciate it. I'm here for you. I'll disinfect my tools. Wear it with pride. Right behind you. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friends. Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? What? This must be the squirrel that tends the world tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squidding. No. Not one for gastronomic expiration, I see. Wait, if you're Radit Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed Radit Hosker. The one you know as Radit Hosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And a particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of... Bitter, would you like to come out and see your friends? Park off! I'm busy! I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway... <clears throat> now that I've polished off all this resin for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. Since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, you'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. So that's why good Master Brock needed an alpine seed. Clearly you have important matters afoot. Perhaps as we travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the Land of the Elves. 
sure I can. Alfheim was the first time we ever roam traveled using your temple. Freya tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of Dark Elves to get to the light. You interfered in the Elf War. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked the us. The Dark Elves were covering it with their sticky hive stuff. When we freed it, Light Elves came back. Things seemed better in Alphon. <laughs> Did they now? Not sure where the temple is from here, but that's where we'll find Groa Shrine. Gyalfa! I see the elves continue their war. Yeah. So much for things being better in Alpha. <laughs> Yikes. Fimble winter hit Alfheim hard. No. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Fimble winter. A living desert. Huh? I hear something out there. Something big. It's in pain. What do you hear? It feels like some kind of animal. How could anything live in a storm like that? Plenty of caves under the desert. Not exactly a paragon of comfort, but the Dark Elves get on the best they can. There, the Temple of Light. Groa's shrine is at the top. Is everything okay? I old friend. Looting no near chests. We'll be right along. My dad likes loot. Ah, very well. never bothered returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? Aye, no. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, Freya's brother? Yes. Cut from a different cloth, that one. <laughs> There's a barricade up ahead. <laughs> oh, I didn't know it could do that. <laughs> Freya 
Freya's brother. How was he involved? Long ago, Freyr of the Vanir traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. Did you mention how that piece fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh, no. That's enough, please. You don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. You do not have a choice. Whoa, was that a bomb? We're the ones who freed the light. Why are you fighting us? We helped you last time. Atreus, focus. I hate Alphonse. <laughs> Most unfortunate. They attacked us. More will follow once we're inside. Is there truly no other way? Not like they're giving us much of a choice. So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. Tribute to Freyr, made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? A charm to ward off nightmares. In this case, Freyr's. Well, knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes to find. Best we move on for now, brother. Don't think we have the right tools for this one. So tall. We came in from the top last time. Didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves. But it looks like it's been sealed for some time. How do we enter? Grab that wheel and I'll show you. I'll go first. Petraeus, let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freyr was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah! And Tyr, you keep pushing forward. Fine work, Atreus. Shall we? Dark Elf statue doing in the light temple. That's just how they looked before the division. The division? Yes. The elves weren't always split between light and dark, you know. This statue depicts the elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the light. Yeah. 
solid light. Yes. The stone briefly imparts a bit of light to your axe. That's useful. What's that sound? No sense in spoiling the surprise? It's the light! Uh, 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 I've never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Fimple winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well... That's the Lake of Souls? Yes. After the creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls began to gather down in those waters. When the Elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success, to say the least. Many of them became addicted to their newfound power, and thus, the Light Elves were born. Well done. Though I imagine our Light Elf friends will be less than pleased. Speaking of Light Elves... Let me try talking to them again. They Thanks may... just to let these two do their thing, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Across on light bridges. But now the bridges are gone. I have an idea to get us across. <laughs> Lucky for us, swearing off violence doesn't mean he can't <laughs> figure some architecture. This way, fine away. looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use the light to enhance the temple. And themselves by the look of it. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Great. Shrine is this way, Kratos. 
Yeah, you know, you just like to be thorough. I see. By all means, then. Right behind! Anything, uh, interesting this way? You okay? Shall we continue? So if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger, what do the Dark Elves want with it? To return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred. None more so than the light Aye. itself. The Light Elf's success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. more Twilight Stone up there. What became of Kavasir? Ripped apart by his audience. Well, one member of his audience. Well, Thor. <laughs> more Light Elves ahead. I'll handle this. Uh, maybe that's not a great idea. Oh there, friends. Salutations. We mean you no harm. Here. Get back. Left right, incoming! Ah! 
souls in the light left alone. But the light elves want to keep using them. That's the long and short of it. Aye. So then, which side is right? Rarely is it so simple. And not our place to say. This is an elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in Alpha Island. Right. They sure made a lot of these light doors. Hmm. Fortifications. Aye. None too eager to let the dark elves run the roost again. Continue our ascent, yes? Always meaning if you look hard enough, brother. It's all in what you bring to it. <clears throat> I suppose I'll leave you to it. <laughs> side. jump. That's the wrong. 
He's getting the hang of it. I've never seen the Light Elves with so much control over the temple. Yes, that's on us. They must have anointed a new temple guardian. Spartal Yoffer's counterpart. The Dark Elf King. Yes, he's in the light now, too. Timing must be precise. This mystic doesn't see us. There's twilight stone on the ground. We can continue up this way. Father, over here! Here they come. Do what you must. Father, watch the oar! statue, these crystals. I've noticed them on the elves as well. Oh, the crystals still make light bridges. Now the light elves wear them. Smart. Almost there. Allow me. I dare say he's beginning to enjoy the vandalism. Pretty soon he'll be laying waste to pottery. Shall we continue? Well, at least we're getting closer. Look up. See? It feels even taller on the inside. I can't believe all this was down here.
Another light door. There's some twilight stone on that statue shield. That angle isn't gonna work. Do you think there's any way to stop the elves from fighting each other? If that prayer not abandoned the realm, a lasting peace may have formed. But now... Can we really place all the blame on Freya? This war started long no! time. But he had the power to heal this land and end the war, did he not? He made his choice. The wrong one. For Alfheim, perhaps. But not necessarily for him. Well, I suppose we're all entitled to walk our own path. Regardless of what we
there. on the wing. Father, up there. there. We helped the wrong side. I see. Do 
you still hear something wounded out there, Atreus? I think so. It could just be the storm. Perhaps we can investigate once we've uncovered a mysterious seer's hidden prophecy. There, the central chamber will bring us to the top, once we find our way past yet another light door. Let's go. Soundstone up there. It pairs quite nicely with the Twilight Stone. A knack for interiors, these light elves. should work, Kratos. Well done. At your service. Ah, oh, the might of Alfheim. hear mother inside last time but i can't anymore her soul is one with the light now united by forces older than odin himself she is at peace atreus i hope so when father went inside the light he you said you went he... inside the light of alfheim yes and yet here you stand of sound mind and decidedly not incinerated you must tell me kratos what did you see that memory is for me alone but I felt only moments pass. Didn't feel like moments to me. I was trapped. Atreus overcame great odds to save me. One could but only imagine. Well then, Groa's triptych awaits. So, did you ever meet Groa? Many times. But she was plagued by constant visions, so... Conversation was... Difficult, to say the least. She's... she's gone. Yes. Keep moving. We're almost there. Huh. They've changed some stuff. Last time, there was all this hive stuff up here. So many Dark Elves. I... All this time, I thought the Dark Elf King... I thought all the Dark Elves were... Tear? Yes. 
Did we help the wrong side? Hmm. Are you certain that's the right question? I... What's the right question? Is there a right side? Exactly. What do you think, Atreus? Is there a right side in this war? I... I don't know. Then perhaps you shouldn't pick one. Shame to have left that behind. I'll heat up the forge. Did you, um, disinfect these? It's fine. I'll do it. The Giants always did enjoy hiding their secrets in plain sight. Wait until you see this. Ah, yes. Here we have Groa's search for her missing husband. She was relentless in her attempt to find him. Meditated for weeks on end. Unfortunately, she found... something else. A vision of Ragnarok. Word of Groa's vision reached Odin. He sought her out. Demanded a private retelling. Didn't like what he heard, apparently. Ironwood? That's the... I don't know what that is. The mythical sanctuary for giants. Curious. So it's in Jotunheim? I know some giants thought so, but Ironwood isn't anywhere, lad. It's a concept, a metaphorical paradise. It's not real. Presumably, Groa requested her ashes be returned to Jotunheim, while her soul found peace in the light. Difficult to imagine Odin respecting those wishes. Hmm. The champion? I think it's supposed to be... Me. You assume too much. Aye. Best not to read into these abstractions so literally. Prophecies are slippery by nature. Although, some are more obvious than others. Ragnarok. Aye. The end of everything. So this is it. There's nothing we can do to stop it. There must be a way. Why else is this hidden? Look. Here. This is what we saw. It's you. Fighting in Ragnarok. No. I don't. I can't. What's this then? That's new. Asgard is destroyed? But the other realms thrive? And Odin died. 
ways. She lied. Roa lied. Of course she did. <laughs> Odin's working off a false prophecy. <laughs> so then, we can win Ragnarok. We can beat Odin. We are not present in any of this. But that was Tyr leading the charge against Asgard. Plus, Hell's army was there. And the elves. Champion. Okay, whoever that is doesn't matter. But for the first time, we know something Odin doesn't. We just saw we can win. Tyr? I won't allow prophecy to define my choices. But we just saw No, him. Atreus. This is wrong. Come. There is much to discuss. It is time. can't stop Ragnarok, but we can win it. If Asgard is destroyed, Odin will not be the only casualty. There must be another way. There used to be a Nornir chest down here. Guess <laughs> Perhaps we should focus on our egress first. Agreed. Viper, watch out! Behind you! Incoming! <laughs> Four more arrive. It's gonna 
We need to keep moving. We really worked up. Think he's okay? Focus, Atreus. This way. I... It's gonna be okay, dear. You've seen what is to come. 
I told you I would not follow you to war, and yet here I am, dragging an innocent, innocent? elf and marching towards the destruction of Asgard. What choice do we have? There is always a choice. I will not lead you to war. I won't. I'm not that god anymore. I don't want to fight. But with you three, there is no avoiding it. Your path leads to countless deaths, unimaginable pain and suffering. Oh no! No! Atreus! Ah! Ah! Hold on! Over here! Your train! Hey, dear. Thanks. And I'm sorry about before. I, I... No. I am sorry. I should never have come. We shouldn't linger. According to prophecy... Speak no more of prophecy. War will not give you the purpose you seek, Atreus. Only slaughter. So what are we supposed to do? Roll over? Do nothing? Enough! We will discuss our next move when we are out of danger. Let's go, let's go! Get up! 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 Get up
Leave now, please. Almost there. This way. Here. Please. Open the gateway, please. You want war, Atreus? See for yourself the legacy this one has left for the barons. I've had far more than I can stomach. We do not need to rush. We should see this desert for ourselves. Look, I know we can't trust prophecy, but I'm not sure we should just ignore what we saw either. We are not ignoring it. We will discuss it back home. 
for now. I wish to search for the wounded animal you heard earlier. You? Really? Yes. Well, okay then. Good. Yeah, lead the way. Travelers. Atreus heard a creature in pain in the desert. Over a storm like this? Most impressive. You know Alfine pretty well, right? Do you have any idea what's out there? No, sorry. The elves and I... Long story, but it's best when we keep out of each other's way. Hive matter is... stickier than I care for. Good luck on your search, though. Stuff some cloth in your ears to keep the sand out. Don't knock it till you've tried it. How can I help? This axe just keeps getting stronger. Want something in particular? And Atreus? Kratos? And it's covered in blood. Thanks. Have we more to talk about? <gasps> What are these animals? Gulon, native to Vanaheim. Not sure what they're doing here. Someone trained them to pull a sled. Lucky for us. Domesticated <laughs> Gulon. Most unusual. Father, is it always moral to kill something that's trying to kill you? Yes. Well, there you have it, lad. Any particular direction to find your wounded animal? Or are we just enjoying the weather? I can't hear anything out here. Perhaps we find a cave first to catch our bearings? <sighs> a tempting treasure chest! Damn the sand! This cave extends underneath the desert. Is the creature within? Yeah, sounds like it. We'll find it if we keep going. What is this place? A refuge for the Dark Elves, by the looks of it. One of the few remaining now that they're barred from the temple. Great. Sooner, Zudu! Whoa! 
Considering what happened the last time we were in Alphon, can you really blame them? Patience. A virtue or a threat? Depends on the reader. <laughs> the creature you heard. What does it say now? It's not always like that. Some animals are just... I feel what they're feeling, you know? And whatever this thing is, it's in a lot of pain. I see. Why do you ask? I am curious. Really? I am capable of curiosity. Okay. Okay.
Talk to animals or enchanted rings or whatever. Much has changed for both of us. Well, yeah. I'm just trying to figure out why you'd help some random animal. Is this not what you want? No, no, it, it is. I'm just surprised it's what you want, too. Oh! 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 Oh!
last one. Are you sure we're doing the right thing? If you wish to abandon this creature, we will leave. Well, no. I don't want to abandon it. But if we have to kill a bunch of Dark Elves to get there... I remember a young lad who, until this very moment, would take on an army of Draugr to save a wounded animal. But these aren't undead Draugr. They're Elves. I just want to make sure we're not repeating the same mistakes. Getting involved where we shouldn't.
there. It's just, why does it feel like no matter what we do in Alphine, we wind up hurting Dark Elves? We are down here to help the creature you hurt. I know that, but I'm usually the one who drags us around trying to rescue animals. Why do you care so much? Is there something you're not telling me? No. Okay. on the left. the largest bloody half you I've ever laid eyes on. It's not just in pain. It's trying to sing. It's the song of the sands. They don't normally sing like this underground. Is that what's causing the storm? Aye. Judging by all this hive matter weighing it down, it's been trapped here for dozens of winters. Don't worry, Lunch. We'll get you out. What is that name? Well, the last squid thingy we saw was Diener, so... Oh, boy. While I appreciate the attempt at humor, that little brother is truly awful wordplay. Embarrassing, really. Oh, well, can't all be winners. can't get out. Much of the hive matter is gone. We can free it from the surface now. Why did they trap it down here? 
Half-gaffers are known to burrow, so I'd hesitate to place full blame on our Dark Elf friends. But it's trapped in their hive stuff. Hive matter doesn't belong to the Dark Elves, any more than the light belongs to the Light Elves. It's just another of Alfheim's natural resources, one the Elves have used since the time of their ancestors. And while the Light Elves seem keen to banish the Hive over on their side, the Dark Elves make effective use of it out here in the Barrens. So, by clearing out all of this Hive... Do you wish to leave the creature enslaved? No. Then let us free it. We can cut the half goofa loose here. It flies? Of course it flies. It's a half goofa. Sounds much happier now. And hey, the storm's gone. Aye. Perhaps we'll finally earn some goodwill from our Dark Elf friends, after all. Look, Father, thanks for bringing us out here, but you don't have to do this kind of stuff just to keep my mind off Ragnarok, you know? This was not a distraction. No? Then why are we really out here? Have you ever considered... He just wants to spend time with you, lad. While he still can. Really? We do not know what lies ahead. But if Ragnarok approaches... I wish to enjoy the time we have left. I... I don't know what to say. Thank you... for bringing us out here. I'm glad we did this. As am I. Yeah. <laughs> 
What's that? A diagram for a sword hilt. Perhaps we should show it to one of the dwarves. They'll know what to do. Look here. Okay. What other terrible things have Odin and Thor done? Okay. There was Thamor, the stonemason. Aye. He quarreled with his son. Went into the night to find him, found Thor instead. And there was Thamor's son, Grimthor, who took the walls of Asgard and whispered something of importance to Freya before his betrayal and assassination. Enough. We will continue later. Getting better. Faster. I'd even be better than you one day, huh? If you are not, I have failed. Oh. <gasps> Should we get back to listing all the awful deeds of the Aesir gods? Old. We will finish later.
to remember to ask Tyr about his travels to the lands beyond the seas. You wish to travel the world? I don't know. Maybe. See new places. Find out more about myself. Hmm. Thor and Odin stories to remember? There was Groa, of course. The knowledge keeper and prophet of Ragnarok. Thor murdered her husband, and Odin covered it up before doing her in himself. You can't forget Amir, the first giant. Odin carved him up to form the realms from his body, and let the torrent of his blood nearly drown every giant alive. What about the giants of Jotunheim? They all seemed dead when we finally made it there. That remains a mystery. Though admittedly, it sounds like the Aesir God's dream. What about Fjorgen? Thor's mother was a giant, wasn't she? Indeed she was. The circumstances of her demise were murky at best. But not sure I can blame Odin for that one. He wasn't the same after. Oh, I know. There was Skadi, the Queen of the Hunt. Aye, she spurned Odin's affections. So he tricked her into killing her father. There was Starkather the Mighty. The Jotnar military leader. Slandered by Odin, tricked and murdered by Thor. And there was Thrym the Cunning, the giant king who stole Thor's hammer. Odin traded him Freya to get it back, then sent Thor in disguise to murder his entire court. Who else? Ah, Rung near the Brawler, the stone giant. Aye, mocked by Odin, murdered by Thor. Enough of this. But there's more. I do not care. War with Odin is not the answer. Soldiers we fought in Svartalfheim. Those were Einherjar? I thought Einherjar were just spirits in Valhalla until Ragnarok comes. They were no spirits. Indeed, brother. Odin appears to have found a loophole. Activated his forces early as a standing army. Perhaps something he could only do without any honest Valkyries around to stand in his way. Something I'm not sure I quite understand. In the Ragnarok prophecy Odin knows, all the realms get destroyed, including Asgard. In the version Groa kept secret, Asgard still falls. Wouldn't Odin have tried to prevent it either way? What difference did her lie really make? I think of it this way. When it comes to subverting prophecy, knowledge is power. 
Without the full picture and context, the finer details can lead you to tragically incorrect interpretations. Back in my homeland, I was privy to the operations of a certain coven of Heathwitches who were keen on destabilizing the government. They picked an influential Thane, an otherwise loyal man, and fed him a story of his own ascension to king. They dressed it up in enough details they knew would come to pass, so when they did, the Thane took it as confirmation. Next thing you know, he's helping matters along. He murders his king, sleeping under his own roof. Murders many he once called friends, too, thinking them fated to oppose him. Then, for a finishing touch, the witches revisit this usurper. With just a few details structured ever so misleadingly, they convinced the fool he was invulnerable to all threats. Physical or magical? magical. Aye, aye. But twas not so for him. All turned into a rather magnificent bloodbath as they go, the Thane ends up without his head and a name so cursed none dare speak it, all thanks to a subtly deceptive prophecy. You really gotta write these stories down one day, Mimir. Well, I try. Jaw tends to get sore, but thank you, lad. Amir, what do you think it means? Seeing more raiders come back as Hellwalkers lately. I thought freeing the Valkyrie Queen was supposed to restore balance to the realms. And keep that from happening. That's a good question, lad. And a troubling one. If Hell's filled up again, it suggests that something's been hindering Sigrun's efforts. Or perhaps something even more urgent is keeping her distracted. And unable to visit. Even occasionally. Yeah. Sorry, Namir. It's nothing, brother. Just... You ever have those moments where you wish you could... go back? Rewrite your own past, make different decisions. Journeying through time is more trouble than it is worth. Ah, fair point. You're speaking metaphorically, right? No. Of course you are.
sort of a harp. I can play beautifully, you know. I do not. I would prefer it remain that way. Mimir, I know this sounds weird, but can you tell me again what happens when someone dies? Every living thing has a soul, and every soul has four parts. Form, mind, direction, and luck. Direction steers the souls of giants, dwarves, elves, and animals toward the lake of souls in Alpine, that all the parts may be absorbed back into Alpine's great light. So that's where Fenrir is? The Lake of Souls? As long as his soul still has its direction, aye, it's well on its way. <sighs> if I don't have it, you don't need it. Whatever you need, I'll create. Huh. That might be my best piece yet today. Very good. Gonna keep it spatter free this time, right? Kratos? Got time to chat? Surprised to see you out here, Sindri. You must hate the sand. Oh, it is the worst. But with Brock banned from Alfheim, it's up to me to keep you ship shape and sharp. So why is Brock banned from Alfheim? Oh, that's, um, I don't know if. Well, do you know what a juicy Nokin is? No. Well, thanks to Brock, the elves sure do. Uh, what is a juicy. No. Do you believe in fate, Sindri? Oh, of course not. You think I'd wash my hands this much if I thought that what I do doesn't ultimately matter? There's only one thing with any say over how we live our lives, and that's us.
Come here. What's the deal with Odin's ravens? They can just transport him anywhere? Except for the realm between realms, thankfully. Why? Harder to find, thanks to dwarven enchantments and Yggdrasil's very own nature. Hmm. Huh. Lucky us. Wait, are those Odin's ravens? The ones we've been destroying all this time? So it would seem. Free army, free of the Father, our half lives now belong to no other. What do you think that means? I don't know, but there's definitely something more going on here. seem to like us, though. One hopes. I suppose we should continue to destroy any of Odin's ravens when we find them. Do we have to be here? Creeping me out, all these poor bastards with their souls cut up. Wait, feels like there was something else. Oh, Elven design, huh? Always loved their style. Lots of curves. You make up your mind. That'll keep your bits in all the right places. A good fit. Hitting the road or chewing the fat? Tears had enough time to find its equilibrium, or whatever. Indeed. I saw flashes of the old god of war in them, but they were fleeting. There is nothing wrong with opposing war, nor opposing prophecy. I suppose that's fair. Never can be quite sure what the giants meant by any of it. Am I the only one that remembers they predicted our entire journey to Jotunheim? If the giants saw Tyr leading armies at Ragnarok, then I believe them. The question is, how you'll ever make Tyr believe it. Master Kratos, I would speak with you. Speak. 
If you are ever in need of my services and I am not present, I have installed these handy chimes for you to notify me. Simply throw your axe and strike the chimes and I will attend to your needs. Would you care to take a practice throw? A magnificent throw, Master Kratos. Truly a seasoned pro. Very well. You know how to reach me now. Now, what else might there be to discuss? Ah, glad to see you back, young one. Come help me, won't you? Oh, sure. We can eat whenever you like, Kratos. The stew will only improve with time. Dress. Eat. Oh, careful, careful. Thank you. Mm. Enjoy. Enjoy, my friends. Yeah. We'll see about that. Here you are, a meal fit for a champion. Enough. I said we would speak no more of that. Yes, of course. Didn't mean to offend. Uh, I'm not offended. It's just a word. The word that clouds your judgment. So, you really don't think it means anything? After the journey Mom sent us on? Everything we saw in Jodenheim? What was it all for? Don't you ever think about that? Every day. But I cannot believe her purpose was to inspire you to take foolish risks. But what if the giants are counting on me? What giants? I am counting on you. To be safe. To be smart. But... To use the judgment of a man and not of a child. But what if Loki going to Ironwood is the only way that you are oh, Atreus? My son. And nothing more. Do you hear me? I'm not hungry anymore. Forgive me, Kratos. My words were chosen carelessly. You really should eat. Some people swear by it on almost a daily basis. I just don't understand. Why is there all this stuff about Loki and, and the champion and Ironwood if none of it's real? He's just so... Ugh! Mind if I give you the best advice you've heard all day, and possibly ever? Sleep. That's when all the troubles of your mind work themselves out. Sure. Fine. Sleep? Sounds great. I mean it. I do too. Get out of here, Heidi. Already gone.
What are you? I wish I had known I was a god in Alphon. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. What's going on? Is that a mask? I mean, just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much stronger. Where am I? It's all you ever talk about, over and over. Do something about it or shut up or it. Little people's little We're problems. We're sick of hearing about little people's little problems. Memories. And not nice ones. You broke the gate. That was our only way to Yonan. What do you want? Let's go, Truma. I don't understand. Whatever. 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 Hey! Don't run whatever. off! Whatever. Can whatever. you tell whatever. me where whatever. I am? Whatever. 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 He should pay for what he said about mother. Oh. But we're gods. We oh. can do whatever this. we want. Please, please wait. Please. Oh. Uh. This is a much better knife than mother's. Please stop! Am I? Uh, easy.